strong box. Now that's a really fun mission. So I'm mostly all inside, so you want to load up an RPG versus a Pila launcher or something else. And I've got to have a sensor gun because when you're opening that vault, you want something behind your back since you can't rely on open lobby teammates. Now in this playthrough, half of my team, half of my team took off. So me and another guy basically played close to each other. The other two guys, I have no idea where they went. So here I am with my LMG. Go set it up for an RPG for the backup. And another tip, on the roof, you can take out all those tanks. If you get shot down, land on the roof and just take out the tanks from the roof. Now in this case, it's a bad start. This guy's gonna take the truck. Being stung and then I don't know where they're gonna take me because they've taken me everywhere in open lobbies. So there he goes. Being stung, I figure I better just might as well hoof it because there's two trucks. A lot of people won't know the heck. For all I know, there might be three, but there's two trucks. But you gotta take that truck and park it behind you in your, in your rear end to keep the bots from hitting you from behind. There's many ways to go into the bank. You can go through the big square room with the four turrets. I used to do that a lot, but I even found an easier way. Again, this is the easy way to play the game and win it. So I'm going straight up the alley. There's never no bots there or nothing. Now I checked inside the bank. I didn't see a vehicle. I don't know where the guy in the truck is. So I'm going back to the fire station. I'm gonna get that second truck. Because in open lobby, nobody's talking to each other. Most of the teams don't even bother conversating. All right, let's get in the truck. Now, the game's looking different to me already. I've been gone for six months on this thing. I've been a cyberpunk and the Witcher, which I do a lot. Go right here, go up the stairs. Now, this is crazy. I just looked inside the bank. I'm gonna come back and there's gonna be a truck in there. And I'm like, oh, where has he been? What's he doing? The pain getting that thing in, just keep spinning back. And there it goes. So there it is, parked in position. And lo and behold, there's the next truck. <laughs> what am I gonna do? So now we got two trucks. And I thought, why not? Grab the first truck, but then I see the guys down. So I get him up. Now it's time to get in the vault. Put up the sentry gun. Open the door with the sentry gun so that your back is taking the box out. Because as you see, the one, there's two players with me, but I don't know what they're doing. That one guy going in circles, he's probably young. The young guys tend to run around a lot. So I'm ignoring everything. I will take, I'll get shot down, I don't care. Anyway, I tried to use that other truck to block, but every, every bot in the game shot at me. So that didn't work. I want to grab that gun. Now here's something else that's odd. I'm going down, there's not a juggernaut here anymore. What'd they do to this thing? If they took the juggernaut out, I don't need to, to carry the turret down. But anyway, I start looking, start looking for the thumb drive and roll and roll with the bot sheet. So I shot him down. I'm trying, still thinking, I was the first one down here. There was no juggernaut. Why'd they move the juggernaut? They removed him. All right, so there it is. Now we go up to the second floor. So I got shot down coming out. The guy there with me bails me out.
I generally let go straight up. Now that I have an empty slot in my munitions, I'm grabbing ammo just for the heck of it. But something's weird. This game's not seeing as hard as it was. All right, right here, you're going to get your first tech to Wilson. Pop with an RPG. One more should do it. Or you can stand on top of them and shoot them with your weapon. Now I'm looking for the second one. And there's nothing there. It's like, what's going on? Nothing. Now the, the juggernaut inside the office is not going to come out. And the other one is not going with the manager until you put the C4 in the door. I'm just trying to figure out, why did they make change this game work so easy? Very strange to me. I guess they got a million complaints. Because once you make a game easy, it ceases to be the fun it used to be. Nothing like beating something up and it's an accomplishment, planning on it and winning. It makes you earn it. Alright, so I'm going to pop a C4. I have a couple options here. I'm a, what I'm going to do here is load up my jug suit. A lot of times I'll kick back and, and hit him with an RPG, put up a turret, try to shoot him down in the head. This time I'm going to use one suit. The other suit is for the roof. Down he goes. Too quick, too easy. And there's my partner. It's like I'm playing with one guy and the other guy's. But fortunately this time, the other guy was on the roof and I assume got that banker. Now if the banker escapes, it doesn't affect the outcome of the game. You're still going to win. So what I do, I go all the way up to the heel pad and there's no mortar rounds coming in. What is going on? But here come the Heinz. So I, I'm happy doing that. Comes one right there. No mortar rounds? Crazy. Fallen bodies, beautiful sight. That's two. Here's three. Now I'm still in my original juggernaut suit. I have a juggernaut suit left. So basically, I finished the game with one sentry turret and one juggernaut suit. This is crazy, though. The, the last time I was here, the roof was swarming with bombs. So it's time to get out. Chopper's down. It's time to win the game. Easy as one, two, three. But what I don't like is that Activision just made it easier. So that's how I like to rank up quick. Play my special ops in co-op. Rip through the games, get the win. Because every time you get the win, you get more points. And that's the good. All we're doing now is wait for the chopper to take off. So that's it, guys, for this little easy walkthrough. I'll see you guys next video. All right? Catch you all later.